Hello everyone, how are y'all doing? Uh, I know that I was supposed to post a video, <laughs> I think maybe like two or three weeks ago, but I am here to say that my trip is finally completely planned out. I uh, made the last um, few adjustments to my plans this past Sunday, and now I only have two weeks left and I'll be heading back to Japan. Um, this time I will be tackling Tokyo. I will be in Tokyo, I think, for basically an entire week, actually. Um, I will get there December 11th, which is a Tuesday, and I won't leave until the 16th, um, which will be that Sunday. And I'll be taking a night bus, and I'll be arriving in Kyoto that morning. So, yeah. First time in Tokyo. Um... I really didn't have much of an interest in going there the first time I was there. Um, didn't really have an interest this time, but you know, it's Japan. You gotta go to Tokyo at least one time. Who knows? I may like it. I just hope I don't get hopelessly lost is my only main concern because I'm terrible with directions. Uh, absolutely terrible with directions. So this is going to be a very interesting experience because the first night when I get there, I'm going to be staying in a hostel. Um, I'll be sharing a room with five other people but the, the hostel looks really nice um, it's actually traditional Japanese style so I'm going to try to um, make sure to remember to do a video over the hostel and everything and show you what the inside of it looks like show you what the outside looks like it's going to be nighttime by the time I get there and then the next day I'm only going to spend overnight there the next day around 11:30, the brothers and sisters are supposed to come and pick me up and I'm going to stay at their house and I'm going to try to get some footage of their house and everything too um, I want to also try to get some footage of me walking around in different areas in Tokyo. Um, as of the moment right now, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing in Tokyo. I basically, you know, want to do the touristy stuff like go to the Sky Tower or Tokyo Tower. I want to do that. Um, what else? I'm so over going to temples, so I'm not going to any temples. Um, I want to visit the Shibuya area, and I also want to visit the electronic area. Um, Asusa, uh, no, Akihara, or something. I'm not pronouncing it right. I want to visit those areas too. I don't really want to go shopping or anything like that of na that nature. I'm trying to save as much m money as possible um, while I'm on this trip. So definitely about not buying clothes when I'm there. The clothes in Japan is outrageous um and that would be the only thing i would probably really want to buy is clothes i may buy some a few souvenirs for some people but I, I got a lot of souvenirs the last time and gave them out to people and i came back home the first time i went to japan so it didn't mean anything <laughs> so for these last couple of weeks for my preparation i went and bought a camera yesterday I'll show you guys what that looks like my other one broke as soon as i got back from japan this is capable of, of course, doing videos, so I'll be using that um, to do my videos and stuff like that. I'm going to try to edit my videos. I know <laughs> I'm probably tired of looking at these unedited videos. I'm actually in a video class right now at school, so I, I, know, how to I know how to edit videos, but it's very time-consuming. But I may edit some of these when I get back home and make one conglomerate video together showing you everything that I've done when I was in Japan this second time for visitation only. So basically from the 12th to the 15th or 12th to the 14th I will be with the brothers and sisters in Tokyo and then I will be dropped off after the meeting the 14th which is on a Friday to a hotel. Then the next day, I'm going to do some. I'm going to move. To, I'm going to go to another hostel, which is really nice. I get a private room with this one, so no sharing with anyone except for a bathroom and that sort of thing. So that's fine. And that Saturday, when I'm there on myself, not sure what I'm going to do yet because, like I said, I'm I'm horrible at direction, and I don't have. I'm not going to be renting a phone. Um, I was trying to check the rates on renting a phone and really you can't pay ahead of time if you want to rent a phone you have to get the phone and then whatever you use or text and stuff is taken out 
and then you will have to pay before you leave so it's not you don't get pay before you use the phone you pay after you use the phone and I don't really like to do that because it may say that I used the phone this amount of time and I may have ne haven't used the phone that many times and it may be a wild number like I've read some reviews on reading phones in Japan and it was crazy so I may just try to do things in the area where I'm located at with the host that I'm staying at um, I may venture on my own some if I have a, a idea of where I'm going um, I may do that but I'm just horrible with directions and I can't I have a straight talk phone so I can't use my phone there so I, I'm not going to ac have any access to the internet um, so I'm not going to be able to look up from going to this place to that place so I don't know yet <laughs> so however Sunday Saturday is going to be me by myself um, going and doing different things in Tokyo I may try to go out field service that morning too that may be good and maybe I can hang out with some of the witnesses after field service something of that nature so that Saturday to that Sunday I will be checking out and then I want to go to Yokohama where I have um, two friends that I'll be meeting there so I'm really looking forward to that um, for that Sunday and then at Yokohama I leave on a night bus and then basically for the rest of the time I will be at Brothers and Sisters House in Kyoto revisiting the congregation that I um, it took care of me when I was in Japan for a year so it's going to be a lot of going to onsen and um, going to Osaka and having takoyaki parties and okonomiyaki parties and it's going to be awesome so I'm going to try to get as much videos as I am allowed to take while I'm throughout this trip to show you guys um, I'm really happy because um, when I went to Japan the first time I didn't really have a homestay experience because I was staying in the dorms so this will be my first homestay experience there in Japan and I've been um, collecting together some gifts and stuff to give to the people who are letting me stay with them um, right now me and my friend are making jewelry for the wives um, I went and got some spongebob slippers for the girl who actually the sister who actually helped me set up the whole trip and she got in contact with her friends and who would let me stay at their houses so she was a really big help so I got her some spongebob slippers and I'm gonna, she has a brother and a mother and a father so I'm going to get the mother some jewelry that we made and the father's going to get a Georgia um, coffee cup I looked at it yesterday it looks really good and then we'll get the Onicha her brother a t-shirt that has Georgia on it from my state so that's what I've been doing hopefully hopefully that would be good enough gifts to give to them and I was also going to stretch and buy them some box of chocolates too so that was something else I was thinking about doing and then some pa little packs of gum American gum I thought that would be really interesting to give them so yeah I'm really excited two weeks left trying not to take any more money out the bank um <laughs> I actually got to get a memory card for this it didn't come with one or the I have a memory card already but this is like a micro it, you need a micro memory card so I had to go get another memory card for that and I would like to get another um I would like to get another bag a walking around bag like I'm bringing this suitcase it's it's a it's a um what's it called it's a suitcase small enough to be able to fit on a plane and that's all I'm bringing um my friend let me borrow it but that's all I'm bringing I'm packing extremely light because I'm going to be moving and I don't want to have a two luggages like I did the first time but you know that was a year of staying in Japan it was only for two weeks so taking a little small luggage and I'll be re-wearing my clothes <laughs> but yeah that's all I've been up to um trying to continue studying Japanese um I bought another phrase book which you guys if you're in if you I only recommend using a phrase book if you've studied Japanese for a while um I can I can get my point across to what I'm wanting to talk with people about but it's not the correct way of saying it this is when a phrase book getting a phrase book comes into handy because it teaches you the correct way of speaking it 
so that people would be like, oh yeah, I really know what you're, what you're saying, instead of being like, yeah, I think I kind of know what you're saying. So I definitely don't recommend getting a phrase book unless you are going to Japan just for visitation and you're not trying to learn language at all, or getting it if you're starting, if you're taking classes and you're in beginner classes, I don't recommend, um, well, if you're self-studying Japanese, don't use, start off using a phrase book. Say a language some, get maybe one or two years under your belt, and then use a phrase book. Because I know when I was in Japan, I was trying to memorize the phrases by heart, and it simply just doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work because you don't know what each individual word is. You, you can't separate each individual word. It sounds like a huge phrase, and it's just extremely difficult trying to remember a whole phrase if you don't know um, the, the definition of any of the words in there or how the, the grammar is used in there. So. I don't recommend getting a phrase book until after you study language some. So this phrase book is really awesome. The Ultimate Japanese Phrase Book. I got it from off of Amazon for $7.50. It comes with a audio CD. You can't play it in your car, however. But this is a really good um, phrase book and it has just about everything in here. This is an excellent phrase book. Um, so much car needs, um, your feelings, how to make a payment, um, clothing, um, diet, how to, to say tell you somebody that you have on a diet or you're, if you're on a low fat diet. So this phrase book is really an advanced level, uh, advanced level for advanced level speakers of Japanese. I feel like this is it. So I think that if you're interested. Um, if you've already been studying Japanese for a while, this phrase phrase book is the best one <laughs> I've seen yet. So I would definitely recommend getting it. I need to be reading it more out of it now. I'm really just trying to work on my vocabulary. Vocabulary, there's so much vocabulary in Japanese language. So you already know it's, it's, it's a lot. It's so much. Um, but yeah, I've been focusing a lot on my vocabulary. So you can definitely pick up a lot of vocabulary off of this and study it. And I actually have like a flashcard on my phone right now where every word that I don't know what it is, I will take it, research it, and put it inside my flashcard and study it when I'm bored. That's been helping me out a lot. But yes, that's, that's it for my update today. <laughs> I will be leaving to go to Japan in two weeks, so maybe the next video that I will make will be in January or I may do one right before I leave um, I'm actually going to be having an okonomiyaki party at my friend's house in Atlanta before I go to Japan so that's really awesome I may try to record that I really want to show you you guys the nabe the salmon nabe that we made at my friend's house about a week ago too about two weeks no at the beginning of November it was really good um, I may try to post some pictures on that the next time um, that I do my video, but I hope you guys are great, fine, I don't know, I think some of you guys said y'all were heading to Japan, are already there, <laughs> let me know, po update me, let me know, I would like to hear about other people's experiences of, about how they are being treated or how their lives are in Japan, so hook me up, look me up, message me, comment me, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.